how's it going? Today I'm doing a video that has been really requested. It's the updated blanket tutorial for Schleich horses. Now let's start crafting! So this is an example of the blanket that we're going to be making. We're just going to have a different color for the stars, yarn, straps, and this little kind of front piece over here. This is the model I'm going to be using. Her name is Hazel and she is my retired Andalusian mare. I rarely use her in my videos, so now I'm doing her justice and she is going to be my model for this video. And feel free to use any other color, you do not have to use purple. The supplies you will need are two different colors of felt. One is going to be the base layer and one is going to be the decoration. Some pliers, some ribbon, preferably this size, yarn, two lobster clasps and two jump rings, some sharp scissors. Also, you will need some Velcro little um, squares like this, a hot glue gun. You will also need a ruler that goes to at least four inches. And last but not least, some decorations such as these star sequins. Ooh, that one just jumped. All right, for the first step, you're going to need your felt for the base layer, your scissors, and your ruler. Now measure out a square that is four inches wide and four inches long. So that's what I've just done. So now I'm going to cut my square. All right, so this is my final square. It is four inches long and f about four inches wide. Now we're going to gently round the corners by just cutting them like this. So just round them like that and then cut off the kind of sharp edges here. I now have my square with the nice gentle round edges. Now we will cut out a perfect kind of round circle right here, about two inches into the blanket, and we'll leave about half an inch of space here. So I've cut it out like this, but I've noticed that it doesn't fit properly on the horse, so I do need to redo it. I realized that I cut too far in, so do not make that mistake. Cut maybe to here. I will be back once I have completed my other blanket and I'm at this step. Alright guys, I am back with the redo version. Here is the old version, or the one that um, I messed up on. You see how it's like way too wide? So yeah, just copy this one, not the other one. I am so sorry for that little mix up. See how nicely that fits on her? Alright, for the next step, we're going to be using the um, purple yarn for the front piece. This is the other blanket, so we're going to be doing this right here. First, let's measure, okay, two inches right here. We'll cut two inches then. That looks about right. Now we're just going to cut out like a strip in the middle of this. And now kind of make a pointy thing with the ends, like that. Oh, and forgive me, um, I mean just on one end, don't do the other end. Now with a leftover piece, just kind of cut a half moon out, like that. Now cut off about a centimeter, of. take the half moon piece and put a little bit of hot glue on and then press it down right there and now take your other piece put some hot glue on it and press it down just like that now we need our velcro and our scissors so I already have a pre-cut piece that I'm going to just put on this side and this velcro actually has like some sticky thing on it so I don't have to hot glue but the one you're using you may have to use hot glue now I'm going to take my grippy side and put it on the other side of the blanket so let's test it out yep it holds next we will need our yarn and our scissors so now just put it around the blanket like that so now I know to cut off right there now for the glue gun, I just go like that and start putting it on. 
All right, now I've put the yarn around the whole sides and I still had some left over so I just can snip that off. Now Velcro your blanket together. Now that the blanket is Velcroed together like that, you can cut out about this much of yarn. And now we're just gonna glue it around here like that. And once you've glued all the way up to the half moon, you can cut off the yarn and then keep gluing on the other side of it. And now once you've come to right here, you can just take another piece of yarn and just glue it like that. All right, so look at that. We have the yarn trim around all of the sides of the blanket. Now we can start to glue the stars on all of this gray area. All right, so now I've got the stars on there and I think it looks super cute. Now the last step is very important and we're going to be doing the straps. So we're gonna take the ribbon and cut about two inches like that. Now we're gonna flip the blanket over and hot glue both of the straps down. Just like that and press them. Now that we have those two straps on this side, we're going to glue them like that to the other side. So that's how it should look. Now this is a bit odd, but trust me, now we're going to cut straight through both of them. And we're going to glue both of these lobster clasps onto one side and both of the jump rings onto the other. So now I have the lobster clips glued on one side and I have the jump rings on the other side so the lobster clasps can clip onto the jump ring and the blanket will be held in place. So now the blanket is done and let's try it on Hazel. There we go and now I just need to put the straps together just like that and there's the blanket on her. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you found it helpful and fun. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Bye!